Good evening. Hello, everyone. Good evening, good evening, hello. Hello, good to hear you. Yeah. On point. Excellent. Because today they told me that I am in the of classes. Really? You didn't yeah. miss a class? You didn't miss any class? Y le puse, every night yo estoy ahí. ¿Cuánto de Pregúntenle factura? al teacher Erika. Pregúntenle al teacher. Yo soy el que inicia la clase. Sin mí no inicia. Imagínese, imagínese y me dijeron, sí, porque nos preocupa. Porque esto faltó de, está ausente, bien bajo. En la, en la... Eh, creo que se equivocó. Le dije. <risa> yes, qué raro. Me aflige, porque eso puede bajar, puede bajar nota, me imagino. Yes. That's, entonces, that's igual lo de la cámara, igual, igual lo de la participación, entonces. No, dije, yes. lo primero que voy a hacer es conectarme y le voy a poner que. <risa> y voy, I'm going to say hi. Hi, everyone. Como I'm here. <risa> I'm Alex Baisa, good to see you. Eh, sí, aquí, este sí, yo. Ok. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Igual, yo creo que me uno al compañero, oh, a Don really? Baisa, porque lo mismo me pusieron a mí de que, que estaba bien baja de asistencia. Y yo igual, o sea, ninguna clase yeah. he faltado y cuando puedo participo y todo eso. Igual me preocupé que dije yo me vayan a bajar puntos o algo, ¿eh? pero sí así me pusieron a mí también. De que no, no, la, o sea, hasta la baja la asistencia. Really? Qué raro. Así que ahí a saber, teacher. Yo siempre le digo present. Yes. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm going to I'm going to check. Bueno, la asistencia siempre se las pongo y la cantidad de minutos. O sea, aquí le sale también los minutos que se conectan. But I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to ask. Because it's not fair. If you are good students. Hey, Ana Yulisa. Thank you. No yet. Carlos, David. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Margarita. Present teacher. Excellent. Concepción de Lourdes. Dalila, Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Hoy sí digan present. Elena Marisol. <laughs> Present teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening. <laughs> Aileen, Lorena. <laughs> Idalia, Margarita. Present. Okay. Iliana, Elizabeth. Creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Ingrid Morena. Present teacher. Ok. Jefferson Alexis. Present teacher. Ok. Jenny Hakane. Present teacher. Present. Present. <ríe> Present. <ríe> Juan Carlos López. 
I hear teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. Okay, Liliana. Okay, Aileen. De acuerdo, ya persona. Liliana Dolores. Liliana. Luis Alejandro. Luis Josué. Teacher, aquí estoy. Where Liliana. Are you? Ah, ok. No, no sé, no podía, no, no, no podía conectar el audio. Ok, Liliana. Ok. Liliana. Yes, ya la vi. Luis Alejandro, Luis Josué. Manuel Fernando. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Ok. Marjorie. Oh, Present. Present. Olga. Present, Miss. Great. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. Excellent. Thelma. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Veronica. Present teacher. Excellent. Bill my day. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Manuel Fernando. Luis Josué. Luis Alejandro. Juan José. Present teacher. Ok, Luis Alejandro. Concepción de Lourdes. Ana Yulisa. Alex Paisa. Presente, presente, presente. <ríe> yo, yo. Ok. Yo, presente, presente. Right here. So today wait. Okay, we have yesterday a speaking activity about recommendations and touristic places. So we have a test your world knowledge. And then we have a, ah, esta parte nos no hacía falta. Distances and measurements. Okay, let's. See the conversation and then the grammar. Do we have a listening on the platform? Yes, right, with this conversation. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Very good. Complete. Com com completed. Completed. All completed. the five sections. Up to yes. 80%. 100%. Me too. Excellent. Great. Thank you. 
the audio program. And practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Two volunteers to practice. Did you get it? <clears throat> That's right. They're yes? Yes. Okay, Alex M. Who was my partner? Fernando isn't here now. Okay, Liliana. Fernando and Liliana. No, no, no. Alex and Liliana. Okay, 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 okay. I'm Scott. Ready? Ready? I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know New that. Zealand. So, what is it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountain, mountain, mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cot. It's about uh, three thousand. I don't know what to say. Three thousand. Me meters high. 3,800 meters high. Meter high. Um, Thanks. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 1,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit your next year, too. Okay, thank you. Do we have New Zealand? New Zealand? Mountainous? Mountainous and kilometers. Kilometers. Okay? Kilometers. Yes. Okay, another two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Jenny and Veronica. Hi. Okay. Okay. I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, B? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what? It like there. Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountain. Really, how high are the mountains? Well, their highest one is Mount Cook. It's about uh, three eight hundred. Marriage high. Mm, no? How far is New Zealand from Australia? 
uh, where I live in Auckland. Um, Auckland is about um, two thousand two hundred uh, kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you next year too. Okay, thank you. Here we have this. Esta combination, this combination of vowels, it's almost like an O. Australia. Australia. And New Zealand. 3,000. Okay. 3,800. Okay, 3,800 meters in should, should, well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, the last two, last two participants for practice the conversation. Okay, Dalia and Carlos. Okay. ¿Quién comienza, teacher? Uh, you, Carlos. Okay. I am going to Australia next, next year. Year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of fun and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the high, yes, one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,100 meters high. Mm. How far is New Zealand uh, uh, from Aus Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Only... Um... Se me olvidó porque no la subrayo. 3,800 meters. 3,800. Okay, thank you. Questions? Okay, here you have to practice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Okay, mm, por ahí me estaban preguntando por el exam. <laughs> yes, probably on Monday we can work on, on the final exam. Okay, only let me finish. Today we, I, I have to finish section four. I know you are advanced, but I need to cover the material because sometimes is not enough with uh, the explanation from the platform. But yes, we are going to, to, to develop the exam on Monday if you want. Okay. Are you okay with that? Or is something that you need, that you need help, but you can discuss if you want. Quiero ver quién me estaba preguntando. Ah, Aileen. Do you need help with something in a specific from the exam or the whole exam? Aileen. 
Well, let's continue and finish section four. If we have questions with how. Okay, tenemos how far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, how cold. Okay, entonces digamos que these are the combinations, también there are more. For example, how much, how many, okay? But these are uh, related with the topic. So because we are talking about places and distances. Okay, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Okay, it's about, sorry. It's about uh, 2,000 kilometers. And then we have in miles, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? Okay, it's 648 square kilometers. Okay, how high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high. And then we have the equivalent in feet. Miles for distance, feet, feet for um, measure, measure. We use centimeters instead of feet. If we use, oh, we measure in centimeters. Okay, for example, how tall are you? I'm... <laughs> I'm short because uh, my uh, I'm one meter sixty, one meter sixty centimeters. Okay, so we don't use feet; we use centimeters, meters, and centimeters. Okay, how deep? How deep, cuan profundo, how deep is the Grand, the Grand Canyon? And how long is the Mississippi River? Okay, sabemos que es el más grande, I think, in the United States. How hot is Auckland? It's about temperature. Okay. And how cold also about temperature. Okay, now one of you is going to make the question and the other will uh, say the answer. Do you think you can practice the numbers that we have here? Yes? Okay, tenemos thousands para miles and hundreds para cientos. Yes? E iniciamos con la pregunta, no, la primera, Aileen, y la respuesta, Claudia. No le sirve. Claudia, la pregunta, Luis Josué, la respuesta. Number one. How high is Angel Falls? Ah, ok. Y vamos a practicar esto, pero ok. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> how eh, high is 
Angel Falls. Creo que estas ya las habíamos hecho. Yes. Correct. Teacher. Yes. Puede repetirme cómo se lee 12,250. Miles decimos thousand. Thousand. Entonces, uh -huh. dependiendo del número que sea, one thousand, two thousand, twelve thousand. Okay, okay. que sería en el caso de three thousand three thousand y luego iríamos con los hundred five thousand y luego nine hundred nine hundred seventy one thousand nine hundred three hundred no three thousand seven hundred and forty Okay, okay. Entonces, primero decimos que... los... Yes? No, perdón. Estaba hablando solo. No, la que ella pedía era eh, la de 12. 12, ajá. Ahí 12, dice 12,250. 12, 12, 12, ajá. 2,000. 12, sería, ¿verdad? 12,000. 12, ok. Ok, okay. say it, it complete. Thank you. Dígame la completa, la cifra. Uh, eh, 12,250. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. No, sin X. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Muy bien, entonces, con regarding to the numbers, or do you want to practice? Do you want to try? Or we continue? Hello? Teacher, una, una, solo una duda. Con los números... No sé si se dice en inglés como se dice en español. Este, 403,000. Eh, Al revés. 400, son miles. 400, oh, no, 400. 100 son cientos. 100. Bueno, 403,000. Vale, 3,000 sería 300. No, 3,000. No, no, eh, donde dice California. California es about 403 mil. No. California. Ah, ese estamos número. en la en la de abajo. De abajo, es que ese, ese número. Yo... Ah, California is about. Ah, 400. yes, yes. Four, 403,000. Ah, ok. 403,970. Ok, okay let's gracias. practice the numbers. Yes, we need to practice. Ustedes no me responden, pero lo, lo voy a poner a practicar. Vaya, va a ser la pregunta. But be ready. Si yo le digo los que, lo que van a hablar, o sea, estén listos. Yes, Idalia. Ok. Yes, Idalia. Ah, you, you want to participate. Yes. Ok. Ok, Idalia y responde María Magdalena. Ok. Ok. Uh, how big is California? No, vamos con, con las de arriba. La, esas, primero. Ah, la primera. Uh -huh. how, how far? far uh, how far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about uh, 2,000 kilometers, uh, 1,100, 2,000 millions. Al revés, la última. 1,200 miles. Miles. Okay, thank you. Ok, 
Okay, Juan Carlos, la pregunta en Alex the answer. Okay, how big is Singapore? How big is Singapore? We need to the number four. Number two. <laughs> ¿Cómo estábamos en la primera? Yo contesto. It's yes. 648 square kilometers. And miles? And miles? Es que, dame un segundo, es que tengo que mover todo. Ahora. In miles, 250 square miles. Okay, thank you. Olga, number three, and the answer, Claudia. Olga, the question, Claudia, the answer. Claudia, the question, Dalila, the answer. How high is Mount Cook? Dalila? Is 3,000... 740 meters high. Uh, 12,000... Eh, two hundred, 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 four, no, fifty, fifty, fifty. Okay, great, thank you. We being number four, Margarita, the question. Iliana, the answer. How deep is the Grand Canyon? Okay. It's about 1,000. Um, nine. Nine. Nine hundred. Yes. Vamos con los fit. Okay, thank you. La siguiente, Liliana, the question, Vilma, the answer. How long? Yes, how long? Continue with the question. No le escuché a la compañera. Yes, repeat the question, please. It's about five thousand nine hundred. 70 kilometers long. The miles? Uh, 3,000, miles. 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 Okay, excellent. Veronica, the question, and Jose, the answer. Ok, 
How hot is the Ukraine? How? I'm sorry, teacher. Help me, please. Auckland. Auckland. How hot? How hot is Auckland in the summer? Jose. Liliana. Sí, teacher. The answer, how hot is Oakland in the summer? It's, it's get, or uh, it's get up to about 23 Celsius and seven four seventy four. Fahrenheit. Ok. Y eh, sería 23 degrees. 23 degrees Celsius. Or 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees. 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 Yes. Ok. Hay una marca de desodorante. Degree. Ok. And the last one. Juan Carlos and Elena. Uh, how cold in yes, I don't, but yes, yes. How cold is it in the winter? It does, it goes down to about 10 Celsius degrees, degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, yes. Muy bien, ahora sí. Esta parte ya habíamos hecho, creo, los ejercicios. But let me check. Which is... Yes, estos eran. Okay, how high is Angels Fall? How big is California? How long is the Nile? How hot is Washington? Y esto sería the end of section four. Only let me check if we have more material here. A writing and we have the reading. Okay, let's do the reading. Okay, Telma, start the, start the reading, please. Cars. Mm, no sé si se ve bien. Cars? Yes. Okay. Cars are getting beer. No alcanza a verlo. S U B. S U B. Five. Mm -hmm. Large Tor Lake vehicles are not the most popular new cars in the United States. Bigger vehicles burn more gas and increase 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 problems with with acid rain and hair pollution. So try to walk, bicycle, on use public transportation. And if you drive a car, keep it thumb, thumb it up. This, this can say gas and reduce, reduce pollution. Okay, reduce, reduce pollution. Reduce, oh. reduce pollution. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, let's continue with energy, Jefferson. Ah, creo que no podía hablar. Jenny, continue. Energy. The biggest use of home energy is for eating. And heating. 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 
Eating. Eating. Como que tuviera una J. Eating. 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 And cooling. 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 Que no veo, pero me voy a acercar más. Yes, I know. And cooling. So turn up. So turn up your air conditioner. 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 And turn down the heat, especially at night. Replace regular light bulbs. 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 Which fluorescent bulbs. Which use less energy and remember to turn lights off. Okay, yes, thank you. So here we have some recommendations. Okay, heating and cooling. Here in El Salvador, um, we don't need to have a heating system because in El Salvador, we don't have low temperatures. Okay, lo que estábamos viendo de the seasons and the, and the, the okay, it, here it doesn't snow. So we don't need heat in our house, like in United States, Canada, and other countries. Okay, and cooling, it's like a kind of popular among rich, okay? They use air conditioner, okay? That's a cooling system. And probably at big enterprises, um puede, question. puede ser tal vez como que la calefacción teacher yes that's the sinónimo heating. de la calefacción heating that's heating eso es en realidad Calefa es el calefacción de calefacción yes y el cooling es el, el aire acondicionado general yes de la casa uh -huh. es que no sé si se han fijado pero in houses of the United States they have tubes, one for heating all over the house, for all the house, in all the places, all the rooms, and also the cooling system. So there are two, two tubes, two systems. Okay. Pero sí, ese es. Okay, let's continue with product. Mm. Luis Alejandro mm. Luis Josué Fernando, welcome Could you help us to read uh, about products, please? Or are you busy? Sorry to interrupt. No, Eileen? Okay, Dalia, thank you. Is American throws a weight an average of 10 kilograms for dot five pounds of thrice every day? Most of that thrice goes into landfills, reduce wash before you buy by asking. Yourself, do I need the earring? Is it something I can only use on but products that you can use over and over again? If you use disposable products, just does made from recycled materials. Okay, thank you. 
Muy bien, we have average. An average is the promedio among, among people. Okay, como la media. That's the average. Kilograms. En el caso de los numbers, eh, we say point, 4.5. Para el caso de when you are writing, uh -huh, yes, it's 4.5 pounds of trash. Mm, we have the landfills. Here in El Salvador, we have landfills. Okay, and it's the place in which all the trash with the, the trucks uh, arrive to that place to throw away all the trash all over around. So you have to reduce, reduce the waste and you have to think, do I need, do, do I need the item? And, or is only to use it once, once. And we have also disposable products Okay, disposable son las desechables. Okay, los que solo se pueden usar once. Y if you have to, it's better if you use recycled, recycled materials made by, made from recycled materials. And the last, it's water, a volunteer. To read the last part. Okay, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Um, showers use a lot of water in one week. A typical American family use as much water as a person drinks in three years by a special low flow shower head or say shorter showers. This can cook water use in house also fix any leaky faucets. Okay, thank you. Questions about vocabulary here? What is? Mm, uh -huh. Repeat please. Which one? Um, shower here. Entiendo que es. Shower. Where is it? Me han correlacionado con la ducha, ¿verdad? Leaky faucet. What is it? Fix any leaky faucet. Ok. Leaky. Ok. When the water, when the water is tick, tick, tick. Drop by leaky. drop. Yes. And faucets are the things made by iron that you use to open and the waters run through the faucets. Okay. Yes? <laughs> ah, low flow, low flow. Esa me decía, Carlos, low flow. Eh, no. eh, shower, shower. A shower head, shower oh. head, shower head. It's like the picture in the picture number seven. That's a shower head. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Como regalera. Yes. Ah, y en la otra tenemos the leak, the leaky faucet. It's difficult to see, but it's there. Okay. What do you think is the form? Okay, read the statement, writing advice. It does the end of, we have, Mm 
making plans. Vamos a ver. Do you have questions about exercises? Por ahí teníamos a, creo que... Yes, Jefferson. Sorry. Este... Aileen, creo. Do you have troubles with some specific part from the exam? No? No questions. Any questions? The rest? Las demás? No eh, yo, yo, uh -huh. Bueno, yo con la plataforma tengo ahí una pequeña... Eh, me, me confundo con el Be Going To. ¿En qué en ejercicio la, estaría? Sería en el ejercicio... Bueno, en la, en, la, en la primera, en el primer examen de la unidad 5, en la última par, par, parte 2, parte 2. No, sería en la, en la, en la sección, section 5. Mm, sorry. Ahí, part two. Ah, esta, no, y no la terminó. A ver. Complete the responses with be going to. Use the verbs in the brackets. Que I here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Y quiere decir que yo, yo estaré aquí el sábado. Yes. Ahí, bueno. I'm going to be. Yes or no? I am going to. Ya probó. Be. I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. I go, I going to be. O sea, como el going to siempre tiene que ir acompañado, ahí les ponen el verbo to be, pero lo van a combinar dependiendo del sujeto. Y number two, well, my father. Ahí, mi, bueno, yo are visiting. Mm. Tercera persona del singular. Is, yes. Is. Is. Luego vamos con el going to. It's going to visit. My brother at college. But my mother and I are going to be home. Number three. Sorry, I can't. I. I. Uh -huh. Verbo to be, verbo to be. I am, I am uh -huh. going, going to work. Going, going to, to work. work. Okay, muy bien. Overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Y vamos a la última. Can we go to a late show? Um, uh -huh. Verb to be. I am going to stay. Going to stay. I'm going to stay. Okay, let's check. 
Yes. Eh, eh, que fíjese, fíjese que yo me confundí porque en las explicaciones, en los videos anteriores, ponía que se podía, podía poner, por ejemplo, visit, agregar ing. My father, I visit, visiting. Mm. Así vi en, la, en, la, en el manual también un ejemplo. Por eso pensé que así se podía poner, me confundí ahí. Ok. Sí, en este, en este caso se está usando el going to para futuro, acciones futuras que se ha planeado hacer, algo que se ha planeado. To tell about plans. Y siempre el going to sería como no en sí el verbo principal, sino que el siguiente, ¿verdad? Going to visit, going to work, going to stay. Vamos a ver Ana y Ulisa Concepción de la urbe Juan José Luis Josué Manuel Fernando Right here Why you didn't want to participate Sorry, I was sat at home Okay. I was home with my daughter and I was heading home. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, and that's it. Luis Josué? No. Juan Jose? Okay. So what, what are you going to do tomorrow? Practice, going to. Yes, Margarita, what are you going to do tomorrow? Yes. Fernanda, what are you going to do tomorrow? To practice a lot. Yeah. You are going to march, no, with your daughter? <laughs> no. I have to work. I can't. Oh, no. Why? I work. have to work. <laughs> Teacher, I, I want to I wanna ask you something. Yes. I received a message today from uh, Inglés Corporativo. I don't know what is the name of the girl yes. that I received a message. Yes. But Hello. basically... Uh, she told me that you are a I bad student. Missed, no, my my I have missed a lot of classes, but I don't know what she said. <laughs> Welcome to the club, my brother. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's the same case among others in the class. So I'm going to yeah, to text to one uh of the administrators of the group to to ask yeah, what? yeah and basically i was surprised because i just missed just one class two no <laughs> not gonna count <laughs> and late sometimes lateness <laughs> <laughs> okay but i'm going to check and i, I will tell you on monday okay okay Please help me on that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yes. I'm going to say no. He helps a lot in my classes. I try, I try. Thank you. We okay. appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So get rest and nobody tell me what is what what are you going to do tomorrow? But I hope you rest, enjoy the day go to the movies early 
early in the morning, I think uh, my family and I, we going to take a, take a breakfast in uh, Pueblo Vivo, Aguachapan. Wow, Los Naranjos. Yeah. Take a breakfast tomorrow early. Great. If for the traffic, if for the traffic way. Early. <laughs> Okay, yes, yes, very early. You have to my my live my up. only free free day. Really? My only free day. On yeah. weekends? Do you work on weekends too? Sometimes sometimes work Saturday mm -hmm. at midday or Sunday maybe. Okay. When when Hunini I am I am there. Okay, but you are not a doctor, right? No, no, no. I, I <laughs> okay, thank you for no, sharing. En la radio, en la radio, me <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so enjoy your day tomorrow. Thank you for coming. No matter if you came late. <laughs> okay, was good to talk with you and see some of you so happy independence day see you on monday thank you thank okay. you bye thank bye you. enjoy it thank you enjoy. bye teacher good night teacher good night, bye bye bye. 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 bye bye teacher bye let's go to play puji mobile <laughs> bye 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 teacher thank you goodbye